Welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, September the 26th, 2019, and this is episode 3123. My name is Bruce Turner. So glad to have you with us today for this Thursday morning edition of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Out of This World. Stay tuned. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you an out-of-this-world experience that I had yesterday on an Uber ride. I got a request to pick up a couple gentlemen at a uh, Holiday Inn Express here in Lynchburg, Virginia. And as we began to drive, it was about a 25-minute drive, I just enjoyed hearing them talking about their business. And as it turned out, uh, one was a journalist and the other was a cameraman, and they were going to meet somebody, and they were filming a documentary on this particular person. We had a little bit of conversation at about halfway uh, to the destination. I asked them, well, <clears throat> who are they going to see? And they said, Leland Melvin. Now, if you don't know who Leland Melvin is, he's a retired astronaut, and you can see his picture uh, on the graphics for this uh, episode. He was born in 1964 in Lynchburg, Virginia. <laughs> he graduated from the same high school my granddaughter graduated from, Heritage High School. He served aboard the shuttle Atlantis as a mission specialist on two missions, uh, STS-122 and STS-129. And as fate would have it, I saw those launches. And uh, it was just incredible. I was so excited. And we drove way out in the country, and we came to this farm. There was a sign that says, Melvin Farm, established in 2018. <laughs> he just retired. And as we were driving down this windy road up to the farmhouse, I saw a man, and he was uh, working one of those blow dryers, you know, blowing leaves off the driveway. And I thought, well, this must be a, a gardener or a hired worker. No, it, wa it wasn't. It was Leland. And he, I rolled down my window, and he said, hi, I'm Leland. And he s extended his hand to me, and I shook his hand, and I... I told him, I said, I remember seeing you speak <clears throat> in an elementary school in Brevard County, and it was just such an incredible opportunity to meet him and to, to, to realize what he had accomplished in his life, the dreams he had achieved. Did you know that Leland is the only person drafted into the National Football League to have flown in space? <laughs> That's right. In fact... Um, the Pro Football Hall of Fame honored his athletic and academic accomplishments by placing his Detroit Lions jersey under glass in Canton, Ohio. He was a wide receiver for the uh, University of Richmond and uh, just a tremendous opportunity. But I got to thinking about, about dreams and how we deal with that. You know, and I thought about Joseph. You know, you read this in, uh, in the book of Genesis. Genesis uh, Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bad, bad report of them uh, to his brother. And Joseph had a dream in verse 5, and they hated him even more. I mean, so he said to them, please hear this dream, which I've dreamed. And he shared his dream with him about they were binding sheaves in the field. And behold, my sheaf arose and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf. He dreamed another dream, told his brothers about the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bowed down to him. And that was his dream. It was the dream God gave him. A great outcomes often begin with dreams. Immigrants dream of a better life in another country. Uh, Martin Luther King dreamed of a world without racial discrimination. Joseph had dreams that suggested he would be a powerful leader. But dreams can be dangerous at times. 
Joseph's dreams stirred the hatred of his brothers. They didn't like the idea of bowing down to Joseph. His dreams resulted in the brothers saying, Here comes that dreamer. Come, let's kill him. Sometimes our dreams may be crushed. And when that happens, we have a choice. We can become bitter and angry about being treated unjustly, or we can forgive those who hurt us. But Joseph saw God's hand at work in his life. After many years when he was reunited with his brothers, he was able to say, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish the saving of many lives. You see, even in the midst of evil, God worked behind the scenes to protect Joseph and make him a great leader. Now, my question to you, what's your dream? What's your vision? What do you feel that God has called you to do? Are you pursuing that dream? Listen, Leland Melvin's dream was literally out of this world, and he achieved it. You can achieve your dream too. Father, I pray today that you'd help us. Lord, you, you said in the last days that old men would dream dreams and young men would dream visions. Give us a vision and a dream for your purpose and plan for our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.